gnocchi with a creamy rocket pesto. This is a delicious dish. And I'm going to serve this with a gluten-free gnocchi so everyone can enjoy it. They're already made, so all we need to do is cook them in some water for two minutes. But first, let's get on to our rocket pesto. Into a blender, I'll add some good quality extra virgin olive oil. We want a few tablespoons. And whenever I'm blending rocket and herbs, I always like to start with the oil first, just so it catches and blends faster. In with some fresh rocket, a good, generous handful of that. It looks like a lot, but it does blend down to not much at all. Also, some basil, another generous handful of basil that I've picked and I've washed. Some pecorino cheese, you could also use some parmesan. And I've already grated it. We want a few handfuls in there. And usually with pesto, you would use pine nuts, but pistachios work a treat too. So pistachios, I'll add a good pinch of salt and some freshly cracked pepper. And I always like to add just a small splash of lemon juice. Squeeze that in, just want a few drops. Lid goes on and I'll blend this until it's really smooth. Okay, that is looking good. Look at that vibrant colour. It's so good and it smells delicious. So we are pretty much ready to go. So let's cook our gluten-free gnocchi. I really like this gluten-free gnocchi because it's actually made with 98% potato. So there's only a small amount of that gluten-free flour holding it. So you really get that gorgeous potatoey flavour. And like I said, they only take two minutes to cook. So before we add them, let's add a good pinch of salt. And then in they go. And you know that the gnocchi is ready because they'll start to bob up to the surface. So to finish off the rocket sauce, I have a pan on a really low heat. I'll add my rocket pesto. You don't want it to be on a high heat because we want to retain that gorgeous, creamy, pale green colour. I'll also add a few spoonfuls of this water. So you can see how there's some starchy water here. We're going to add a few spoonfuls just to loosen up our pesto before we start adding the cream. So just give that a mix. And that's a lot of sauce, but it's enough for four people and to coat all of that gnocchi. Okay, now that that's warming up, you'll see there's just some gentle bubbles. We can add our cream. So a little thickened cream. And we'll also add some mascarpone. I love mascarpone cheese. It's gonna give it that gorgeous gloss. And with mascarpone, you don't wanna heat it up too much. You just want it to just melt in. Look at that colour. Isn't that fantastic? I will add another small pinch of salt. And look at that. Our gnocchi is ready. See how they start to bob up? They are ready to go straight into the sauce. Don't bother about draining at all. I kind of want some of that water to go in there. So I'll just tip them in. And last few. And then we'll just coat it in that sauce. Give that a toss. These little gnocchis are so fantastic because they're holding their shape too, so you don't have to be so gentle with it. Okay, let's plate this up. So a generous spoonful. Look at that vibrant green colour. See how you retain the colour? It's because we didn't have that on a really hot, hot heat. It smells so good. And to finish off, some extra pecorino over the top. You know I love my cheese, so two generous handfuls. Some freshly cracked pepper. And there you have it, such a simple dish. These are the dishes we want in the middle of the week. That took less than 15 minutes. I'm going to enjoy it and all my gluten-free friends out there, they're going to absolutely love this one. Mm -hmm.